Okay, welcome to lesson 4.2 on graphing parabolas. After the notes you took um, on, at the last class, you learned that the parabolas can be graphed with focus, directrix, they can open up, they can open down. You took various notes, and now we're going to work on the, on the problems on the half sheet. Remember the two equations that we need to keep most important, and that is x minus h squared equals 4p times y minus k. That is one that opens up or down. And the other equation is where y is squared. So it's y minus k squared equals 4p times x minus h, which opens left or right or left. Those are the most important equations to keep in, in mind. So we're going to work with those today on the half sheet. Example number one. x squared equals negative 8y. We analyze it before we just start graphing. So our first thing is to look at which one is squared. Since x is squared, then it must open up or down. And the next thing I look at is 4p. which in this case is equal to negative 8. When we divide by 4, p is equal to negative 2. Since p is negative, it opens down. Now, we look at the focus and directrix. They are p units away from the vertex. Since p is 2, I find my vertex. Vertex HK in this equation doesn't appear to exist, but they are 0, 0. Because zeros would hold the place for H and K. Now um, we start to graph. So I put my vertex on the graph at 0, 0. Since it opens down and the focus is always inside the curvature of the parabola, and this opens down, then my focus will be two units down. My directrix is two units in the other direction. Which shapes our parabola. Now, it'd be great to draw one, we just don't know how wide. So the last bit of information is the width of the parabola at the focus. So the width of the focus is going to be the absolute value of 4p. In this case, 4p is negative 8, making it 8 units wide. But since our parabolas have to be symmetric, we're going to go 4 units in each direction from the focus. So four units, one, two, three, four to the right, and one, two, three, four units to the left. Now I have my parabola. And we can take that and connect the vertex to one point, the vertex to the other point. You can now state the information of each piece. Hi. The focus is at zero, negative two, and the directrix is at y equals 2, a horizontal line. That would be problem number one on the half sheet. Number two, the equation is y, equals, y squared equals 2x. 
In regards to this equation, we realize that the y is squared this time and not the x. So since y is squared, it must open left or right. When it opens left or right, we realize that this is going to have um, a different orientation. So, our next thing is to look at our 4p units. So 4p, sorry, is equal to 2. If we divide by 4, p is then equal to 1 half. A very small amount. It's a half a unit away. And since p is positive, it opens to the right. So here we go. We're going to look at putting on the vertex. And again, since the HK doesn't appear visible, we, we do know we would hold their place with zeros. So the vertex is 0, 0. Putting the vertex on the graph, going a half a unit to the right for the focus, and a half a unit to the left for the directrix. Since it opens this way, our focus is in here, our vertex is here, and believe it or not, as squished as this is, the directrix is going to be here. So equations that we can find are the focus is a half a unit to the right, comma zero, and the directrix is now a vertical line x equals negative a half. Okay? So there's some information for us, but now we have to have the width of the parabola. Well, since it's two units wide, we have to go one unit to each side. So from the half, we're going to go one unit here. From the half, we're going to go one unit here. And this parabola will open this way, to the right. So we have our information, and this is problem number two. The third one on the half sheet, the only difference here is we now have a defined vertex other than the origin of 0, 0. So the equation is x minus 2 squared equals 8 times y plus 3. Lots of information to draw from this one. First of all, which way it opens. Since x is squared, it either opens up or down. Okay. Since 4p equals 8, Since P is positive, it's going to open up. Again, lots of information we can draw from this. So what we're going to do is we're going to find the vertex. Now there's a definite HK. Remember, H is always with the X and K is always with the Y. So our vertex is 2 comma negative 3. Again, that old concept of opposite inside really holds here. So we're going to go two units to the right and three units down. That is our vertex. From that vertex, we know that this opens up. We can kind of start the process if you want, but don't go too far until you find the width. And you need your focus. Your focus is going to be two units away. So from here, I'm going to go directly two units up. It has to be in the center. So this is our focus. Here's our vertex. And of course, the directrix is going to be two units down. So the coordinates, we can always take the coordinates from here. 
is 2, negative 1. So the focus is 2, negative 1. The directrix, which is a horizontal line, is y equals, and you can even count from there. If this is down 3, 2 more is negative 5. Or you can start from here and just drop down negative 5. Okay. And then we just need the width. So width, absolute value of 4p is the absolute value of 8, which is 8. And we're going to go 4 units to either side of our focus. So 1, 2, 3, 4 here. 1, 2, 3, 4 here. And we are now ready to connect from the vertex to the point, from the vertex to the point, and we have a symmetrical parabola. I am going to leave you four and five to do on your own. Um, and we will pick up this lesson in a few minutes. Please work in groups. Please work on the two that I have left you, four and five. Thank you.